Love leads to the Cat as a Canada. As I promise, yung second po natin topic ay mag-focus tayo sa culture ng mga Canadians. Do you know Canadians love the sports hockey? Yan. Kasi syempre, snowy dito. So, hockey is the number one sport here in Canada. And kapag nagsusupport po talaga sila, para tayo yung mga fanatic tayo sa kapag basketball, right? Sigaw tayo, sigaw, sa Alaska ako, sa Pure Foods ako, here in Canada, especially in Saskatchewan. Oh, I miss Saskatchewan, Regina, Saskatchewan. Kapag uh, yung Rough Riders, tawag kasi nung team namin sa Saskatchewan, naku, lahat green, from head to foot, green ang suit nila. Makikita mo, full support, lahat ng tao na nagsusupport dun sa representative po ng Regina sa Saskatchewan green from head to foot minsan makeup pa nila green kahit underwears pa nila green kahit kuku pa nila green makikita mo na lang para silang puno and ako din napabili ako ng green t-shirt kahit super expensive kasi you will feel so proud and great so yung culture is the 100% support and loyalty po ng mga tao here in Canada. Hindi yan mag boo, boo, hindi. Sasabihin lang nila, go, you can do it, you can do it. Kapag naman hindi nila nagawa, nasabihin na nila, there will be next time. You're still a winner. You can do it. Don't be dismayed. You can do it. Ganun yan ang culture nila. So, dapat ma-adaptin po natin yung culture na yun. And second culture po nila, it's about family. Sa atin kasi sa Pilipinas, kahit hanggang kailan po natin magstay gustong magstay sa ating pamilya, extended family. Kahit yung apo mo pa sa tuhod, pwede pang magstay sa sa'yo. Pero here kasi, pag reach na ng 18 years old, either automatic, aalis na yung mga anak nila sa bahay ng parents o ang parents ang magsasabi na, oh, you're already 18 years old. Maybe you're ready to be an independent and you can find your own job and support your schooling. Ganun yan. 18 years old. Kaya kami kinakabakaba kami. And we always uh, talk to Denise na, Denise, kahit 18 years old ka na, promise you will stay with us. You will stay until you have your own families. And even uh, you have your own grandkids. Where if we are still alive, we want to be in a one compound, in a one uh, corporation, start a corporation that we will... Uh, stay together and enjoying the time yun yun pero let us see we'll pray for that yun yung culture nila here pag 18 years old sige alis ka na or papa kick out ka na sa bahay uh, yun yun yung second culture so first culture they are very supportive and loyal kapag supportahan na yan ang mga representative nila ang mga olympics or sports pa. And second is pag nag po ng 18 years old, automatic na na nagiging independent na yung mga Canadians. Siguro mostly is 75%. Sinusunod pa rin yun. Ginagawa pa rin nila yun. My case nga here is 30 years old hindi pa umalis yung lalaki at wala pa siyang trabaho yung anak nila. Idinimanda ng parents kasi pabigat na daw. Pero sa Pilipinas, di ba, kahit jobless pa yan, Ilang, uh, ilang taon nang hindi gumagalaw-galaw mga 5 to 10 years na tas 40 years old na nasa bahay pa rin ng parents love-love pa rin natin so iba kasi yung culture ng Filipino, right? and then the third one they love of course here is no pag mag mag kakain pa ng napakasarap na maple syrup. Ayan. Mahilig din mo silang mag-barbecue. And yung mga meron tayo tinatawag na First Nation, magagaling yan po sa arts. Yung mga naguhulma. And yung culture po nila is uh, mahilig din silang kumain but more on burgers and fries kasi yung poutine po, yung fries na parang meron siyang topping uh, na napakasarap na cheese and sauce, yun po yung product na na-invent po galing here in Canada. It's a poutine, like French fries na tawag natin or fries na merong topping na napakasarap. 
So, hindi lang po tayo mga Filipino ang mahilig kumain. Culture rin po ng Canadian ang mahilig kumain. Barbecue, maple syrup, lemonade. Ayan. At saka yung sinasabi kong poutine. Yan, mahilig rin mag-ice cream. And kahit nag snow sugo diyan mag pa rin, mag enjoy mag-snow fight, mag ng snowman. Of course, kilala yan Canadians sa pag ng snowman and snow angels. So, yun po yung tatlong bagay in their culture na hindi ko man nabanggit lahat, but at least yung tatlong bagay na na-observe po namin, yun yung aming na-appreciate po sa culture ng mga Canadians. At Canadians na rin po kami at uh, we are planning to adapt other cultures but not 100% because pusong Pinoy pa rin ito. Una is being supportive and loyalty that binibigay po natin yung loyalty po natin sa ating mga kapwa Canadians to support our economy especially now during COVID bibilin po namin ang mga products ng mga Canadians hindi man po tayo nakapag attend ng mga sports or Olympics masusuportahan pa rin po natin sila in their business like we can travel within uh, Canada domestic and purchase their products yun yung unang support na pwede namin gawin and secondly is yung sinasabi ko po sa inyo na family na mag 18 years old kikik out na or aalis na yung kids but at least in our part, we're still adapting our own culture that we will make sure that Denise will be with us until she finish her doctorate and have her own family. And the third one is dahil mahilig silang kumain, we're sharing our Filipino foods to them as well para at least matikman din po natin yung pagkain nilang putin, titikman din nila. At na, actually, gustong-gusto na nila yung pil, uh, pagkain Pilipino. Sinigang, adobo, pansit, and lumpiang Shanghai. Yun lang po. Sana may natutunan po kayo na tatlong culture ng Canadian. So, become supportive and loyal. And second is 18 years old na kids. Ano nga ba magiging desisyon? Kick out ba or hindi? Keep, keep cut kick out or keep. And the third one is sharing is caring. Share our foods to them so at least they know Filipinos are very hospitable and generous. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to Canada.